What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires, taking a look at a pretty awesome off-road setup. Now, we've got this particular Mercedes here, but we've also got a trailer hooked up to it, and I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, just kind of teleport to the garage. I feel like the biggest thing is, I feel like I could back up, but it's quicker just to uh, just to drop the car into the garage area anyway, so, um, and we'll just drive it back, drive it back to the garage rather than turning it around. Now... The interesting thing about this setup is the fact that it's actually very, very customizable. So you've got a whole bunch of options here. I'm going to reset it to stock. And let's see. Go ahead and change that back. And we will remove the trailer. I'll remove everything that I've got installed on this thing down to just the bare, um, the bare uh, basic platform. So we'll take this vehicle and then from there we will add back, we'll add the roof rack which carries 300 repair points. We'll add the spare tire uh, asphalt version. We'll add the, now we can add the gas and utility trailer, which carries uh, 500 liters of fuel and 1,000 repair points, or we can go with the garage cart or the utility cart. And the thing is, the utility cart, I haven't even tried this thing yet, and it carries less liters, uh, like, it carries less liters of fuel and less repair points than the tiny little gas and utility cart, so there's really no point. And let's see. Oh, position, come on, really? Let's see if this works. Let's see, gas and... Oh, wow, position your truck properly yet again. So, apparently it's extremely picky about where you put your truck, even though it's an extremely small trailer. It's one of the smallest I've ever used in spin tires. So, let's see if that makes it happy. And it looks like it did. The game almost hung up for a second there. Is it glitched into the ground? It looked like it was for a second, but I'm glad it isn't because that's usually a real pain to deal with. Now, we're also going to switch, we're also going to switch the, uh, the other wheels and tires for this car. Car. More like SUV. But at the same time, it's a very, very nice off-roading rig because if you think about it, a lot of, a lot of people, they'll use either trucks, they'll use, they'll use the UAZ, they'll use a Jeep. But the th nice thing about this is that it's got so much utility to it that you could go on a expedition, like, kind of like a backwoods, almost like expedition, uh, type thing with this vehicle, and you would have absolutely no problem at all, because you've got so much fuel, uh, spare fuel in that little trailer, you've got repair points in that little trailer, and the thing is, this little trailer is not hard to manage at all. You can take this thing anywhere, and that trailer is not gonna be an issue for you. It's not gonna be, get, get not gonna be getting stuck on trees, it's not gonna be hard to take over hills, and it really doesn't even slow the vehicle down all that much at all, so you really have kind of the best of both worlds as far as a exploration slash expedition vehicle that's also got the ability to pull a trailer which again at the same time isn't isn't too big of a trailer but it's also you know it's also not it, it allows you to have it allows you to have the aspect of a trailer with without having a massive vehicle in the first place because even with the trailer this isn't a very big vehicle it's it's actually quite small Compared to a lot of the other vehicles you're going to find in spin tires, it's only a little bit bigger, if not the same size, as a UAZ, which is really good as far as if you're looking for something that's small, but still gets the job done, this thing does really, really well for itself. I mean, it, again, like I said, now that I think about it and that I look at it, it's really about the same size as a UAZ, and when you add on that little trailer, you're adding so much to this vehicle without even... Uh, w without messing it up, without messing up the ability to, to pretty much go anywhere, or almost anywhere anyway. And I tested out the climbing abilities a little bit earlier, and the climbing ability of this thing is actually really good. It climbs up some pretty decently steep hills, even with that trailer back there. Now, that trailer is really small, it doesn't really weigh all that much. But even when, you, even when you're, you know, kind of driving this thing around, you don't really notice the weight. And a lot, of spin, a lot of vehicles in spin tires, you really notice the weight in the back if you're pulling a trailer. Not here, I mean, and, and granted, I haven't really driven it too much without a trailer. I only drove it a little bit, but even with my sh uh, my small amount of experience with this vehicle, it did really well. Now, the interior view is not really a view you'd want to spend too much time in because it's not, I guess you could say it's not very fleshed out, but, I mean, it's okay. It, it's there for people that want to use it. I personally, especially if I'm pulling a trailer, prefer the exterior view uh, because it's a whole lot easier to just to manage everything. But generally, when you're driving this thing around, you're going to want to be in third person anyway. And we're actually going to go ahead and leave the trail real quick, just so I can show you guys how this thing does off the beaten path and more in a off-road environment, or at least a dedicated off-road environment, environment, whereas those technically dirt roads are considered off-road, but this is off-road, off-road. I mean, you're not on any roads here. So, we're going to go ahead and grab this cloaking, uh, cloaking point real quick, and then head more along the coastline, because the coastline starts to kind of turn into, uh, turn into a hill, 
and you've got a little bit of a gradient, so you've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a rollover worry, but not too much. And we're gonna see how this thing responds to it. First thing we want to do is keep the speed up, so it's not trying to get uh, static. Because if it gets into a static position, it's way more likely to turn over. But right here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and try and cross the water, if we can, or at least some of it. I had a little bit of experience with this thing in water earlier, and it just kind of stopped. It didn't really get any damage, it just stopped. So, it was really odd, and it, it, like I said, no damage. We were down below the hood line, and it still, it wasn't getting any damage at all, but the vehicle had just stopped. So, I'm, I'm thinking it started to float, and it pretty much lost all traction on all four tires, and it pretty much had nothing it could do. So, that is something that you do want to watch out for. I'm thinking that they may not have really refined the water damage level point in this vehicle because if they had you would have noticed it it would have been there and it would have said you know dangerous water level uh retreat or whatever. it doesn't say retreat but i would have retreated now which is what i generally do when i see dangerous wa water level unless i know i can make it through unless the vehicle like i know it's good to go because there are some vehicles where the warning is way higher than what its actual damage point is and you know what honestly it's not that bad at going through uh going through um small trees it pretty much just goes right over them it demolishes them has no care in the world with it at all and the thing is you can get out here in the middle of nowhere and be like yeah it'd be a good place for a campsite and just kind of you know set yourself up right here you know the more i look at this thing I, the more i think yes that would be an awesome rig to have like just to have in real life i would love this thing i would love to just you could take this thing anywhere you could you could have such a huge reserve of, I mean, you got uh, so much fuel here, you've got your luggage up here, you've got toolkit, you've got like a toolkit here, a toolkit back up here. You've got like so much stuff that uh, just at your disposal and so much space to pretty much load this thing up with whatever you wanted. Um, like if in uh, like a real life application, if you were going to do some kind of expedition, if you were going to go hunting, you know, whatever you were going to use this thing for, it was pretty much, it's pretty much suited to, like I said, many 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 different applications same stuff that you could use a jeep, a jeep for you could definitely use this thing for no no problem whatsoever oh god it's tried to mount the tree go ahead and grab some fuel real quick i mean we don't really need it but it's always nice if the fuel station is like right there i'm always like yes yes i'll take the fuel isn't that just an epic shot right there though like, actually no this is good because we can switch over, oh yes, we can switch between, so this is the roof rack, fill that up with 200 liters, switch to the trailer gas and utility, fill that up with 500 liters, and then we're really good to go at this point because all of our, all of our reserve fuel is full, all of uh, like the, the actual tank in the vehicle is full, and the roof rack fuel is full, so we got pretty much enough fuel to do whatever we want, and I can see this being especially nice if you are on hardcore mode, because if you're on hardcore mode, Fuel is a really precious... Wow. Oh, nice voice crack there. But no, fuel is a really precious commodity on hardcore mode because it's so uh, scarce and the fuel consumption is so high that if you get fuel, you want to fill up as much auxiliary fuel as possible because once you do, you're way better off, especially if you're trying to support a team. This would be a really great team support vehicle. Um, if you were playing any kind of like modded multiplayer, I can see this being, like I said, a really good uh, support vehicle for a team of... Um, a team of off-roaders, but um, I definitely enjoy driving this thing around, and it'll definitely be staying in my garage. It'll be staying um, in my uh, in my current lineup of mods. And if you guys want to try this thing out, there'll be a link in the description box below to where you guys can go and download it for your own spin tires game. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.